Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In order to use certain security features in Acrobat like certificate encryption, you must create a digital ID. A digital ID proves the identity of a user when communicating electronically. A digital ID usually contains a name, email address, serial number, and an expiration date. A digital ID can be used to create a digital signature. Digital IDs also let you decrypt encrypted PDFs. A digital signature contains two keys. One key, the public key, is used to digitally lock or encrypt data. The other key, the private key, is used to unlock or decrypt the data locked by the public key. The private key should be kept secured and safe because it contains your private key which is used to decrypt your encrypted information. You can share the public key. For example, the private key is used to digitally sign documents to prove you are the individual signing it. The public key is used within certificates that you distribute to others to validate your signature or identity. You can acquire a digital ID by either purchasing one from a third-party vendor or by creating a self-signed ID. Self-signed IDs can be used for personal use or for small businesses where they are used between people who have established mutual trust. IDs purchased from third-party vendors, called certificate authorities, are used to verify your identity to strangers and are used by major corporations. These IDs use a trusted third party to verify the authenticity of the digital ID that you purchase from them. Most people who use Acrobat professionally will need to purchase a digital ID from a certificate authority to digitally sign documents and use certificates. To create a self-signed digital ID or to register a purchased third-party digital ID, launch Acrobat and then choose Edit Preferences from the menu bar to open the Preferences dialog box. Click Signatures in the list of categories at the left side of the dialog box to display digital signature preferences. In the Identities and Trusted Certificates area, click the More button to launch the Digital ID and Trusted Certificate Settings dialog box and display digital ID settings. Click the Add ID button at the top of the dialog box to launch the Add Digital ID dialog box. You can use this dialog box to create a self-signed digital ID or add an existing digital ID you purchased. Simply answer the questions posed on each screen of the wizard and then click the Next button until you have finished. On the last screen, click the Finish button that appears to add the digital signature file to the list shown in the Digital ID and Trusted Certificate Settings dialog box. Note that if you are creating and using a self-signed certificate, you should make a backup copy of the digital ID file, as if the digital ID file becomes lost or corrupted, you will not be able to use that file to add signatures. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.